Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Kevin Dukes. Kevin was one of the first ones to send me this disturbing ass story and once again it's coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going on in Florida you ask? What's going on is that we have an 8 year old kid and basically he went to rob a grocery store at gunpoint. Yes, an eight year old kid, third grader, an eight year old kid literally walked into a store with a helmet on, you know, he had towels wrapped around his face and he basically went to the cashier, demanded money and threatened to kill the cashier. This whole situation is just disturbing. The mother, Ebony Alice is saying that, you know, she didn't realize the gun was out of her purse until it was too late. Her son's on the honor roll. You know, she's just really shocked that he would do something like this. This. this whole situation is just re-damn dickless and hella ratchet. Go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Facing charges of attempted armed robbery with a firearm and aggravated assault, this eight-year-old boy was in juvenile court Friday afternoon. The child is so small, he was barely able to see the judge from his chair. His troubles began Wednesday night. When I grabbed my purse, it was so light. I'm like, oh, you know, I knew I was missing something. So I where my gun. The boy's mother, Ebony Alls, has only talked with WPBF 25 News. She says she thought he was going to depart to play with friends. But Alls says he rode his bicycle to the King Foods grocery store on 36th Street in West Palm Beach. The store's surveillance cameras show him entering the store with a bike helmet on and baggy clothes. But what you don't see, according to police, is the loaded handgun he's concealing. Minutes later, he walks to the checkout counter and approaches the cashier. I'm in here, move over there. I see the boy take the gun, give the girl, give me the money. My concern was, I didn't want him to pull the trigger. Out. I didn't want nobody getting hurt. So my priority was just to take the gun away from him as soon as I can. Several employees saw the commotion and reacted quickly. As soon as I moved, I reached over to him, twisted his wrist took the gun away. The child struggles with an employee as he tries to take him to the office. The store manager called police. Officers took the child into custody. All says her son has never tried this before and she wished she had put the gun in a safer place. He's a good boy on the honor roll. Back in court, the judge said the state decided not to pursue charges and he must take part in a diversion program. All's left the courtroom with her children without saying a word. The judge also said the boy is relieved of home detention and must stay away from the grocery store. When asked if the mother faces any charges for leaving that gun unsecured, police said it's still under investigation. In West Palm Beach, Ted White, WPB. All right, so you guys just checked out that news clip, and a lot of things really disturb me with this story. One, this child is eight years old, okay? It's not like he's 13, 14, 15. He is eight years old. So where did he come up with this idea? Where did he come up with this concept? And the mother to me just seems way too calm, way too fucking dismissive. And I think that she should be brought up on charges because now let's say that eight year old boy would have got that gun and shot somebody or shot another child, she'd be held liable. This little boy went into a store and literally pointed a gun at another human being, threatened to shoot them, you know what I'm saying, demanded money. This is not normal of an eight-year-old child. Obviously, he's been around this type of behavior before or he's seen this behavior acted out because why would he just think to do something like this? Why would he think to take the gun out of her purse? And then once she felt that her gun was missing, you know, why would she not go out and go look for her son and make sure that he didn't have the gun on him? You know, it's not like he's a teenager. He's eight years old. I don't understand and she's like, well, you know, he went outside. I just assumed he was playing. You don't know if he's playing or not. You don't know where he's at. You know, this whole situation is just really, really disturbing. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if she put this little boy up to it. I don't put nothing past some of these parents nowadays. Some of these parents are just so ratchet that they will put their kids up to some fuckery just to see if they can benefit or just so they can get some type of attention. This whole situation is just really disturbing. But if she does not teach this little boy discipline, if she does not get him in line now, somebody else will get this child in line and he will be paying with either his life or doing time in prison. Because right now, if he's out here doing armed robberies and trying to stick up people at eight years old, imagine what he'll be at 13, 14, 15, 16 if she does not get the reins on him now. This whole situation is just extremely disturbing. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass story, honey. That's once again coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.